Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing a follow-up session for Johannes. It's a five minute mini session. So I'm gonna be sharing energy work and wisdom. And uh, I'll put a link in the description to the, the very last session that we did together. Um, Johannes shared some pretty cool um, follow-up experiences. And so I'm gonna read that and then the goals for this session. Okay, so Johannes says, the energies from the last session were huge and had a very strong effect on me. The day after, I revisited old situations and behaviors. On the next day, long forgotten energies emerged and I revisited very old situations and memories and realized how I actually created this skin layer as a child. A very profound and emotional transformation after all and I am ready for more. Today, I would like to receive some energy work to balance my energy field out less mind, more heart, and possibly receive some guidance on the changes and the impact they're having on me. Okay. All right. I'm just absorbing here all this good stuff. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to relax now. Let's see what your energy field looks like and let's see what more we can gather about all this awesome stuff that's happening. Okay. So I see you and you're in a beautiful meditation. This is going to be a little more complicated than that. Hmm. Very complicated, but it's actually in a really good way, in a positive way. It's not over complicated. It's complicated as it needs to be. My human mind just has no idea how to keep up with this. <laughs> so let me describe what I'm looking at here. I walk into your energy field and there you are, you're sitting down. Um, but when, as I get closer to you, I see you're sitting down back behind me now. And in the center is this, I don't know, some sort of like a geometric, um, let's just call it a flower and made out of geometric shapes and it's going in every direction but it's more than that okay it's like so much more than that it feels like you're building upon something or you're building something let me see i'm gonna have to slow down in order to make sense of this you got this all under control you say you're just like a Jedi master right now. <laughs> you're just sitting over there, you're in a meditation and you have a huge third eye and it's super bright and activated and it just it's moving these shapes around and it's constructing the design. And you know how you could look at the top of a rose and you look down into it and there's all these beautiful petals that create these shapes. Um, it's kind of like that. It's like the head of a rose. It's a um, beautiful um, geometric shapes but it also shows me the structure of a flower so the rose on top and then the stem and then um, the pointed parts with the thorns and then the leaves and all these geometric shapes and I keep thinking of a flower and you you are manifesting materials and then the materials are just moving around and you're using your Jedi Knight skills and you're just like moving things around in here and you're putting things into a placement and order and this is very easy for you. I don't know whether to tell you there's something missing. <laughs> there is something missing but at the same time there's nothing missing. So should I tell you that I'm noticing something or should I just let this be because it's perfect right now as it is? Like what more do we need to work on right now? Because this is exceptional. So why not just like relish in this achievement, right? So let me see what you, what you want out of this. <laughs> let me see. Ah. Uh. This is a conversation we're having and it's shifting your energy away from your third eye and your mind and it's actually, there's a huge, uh, oh man, I can't believe how dense this feels, but it's kind of aches in my stomach, um, solar plexus chakra area 
Um, and the heart is actually kind of being left out right now. I will say your third eye is quite extraordinarily open. I mean, it's like super wide open, actively doing things. Still trying to tell you about the thing I'm noticing, but I've got to get through these energy shifts here. <sighs> okay. Aggravation. <laughs> You're aggravated. <sighs> You're very aggravated. You're like so mad that I came in here and I disrupted your Jedi Master moment. You're making this beautiful thing and now I'm interrupting you. <laughs> I say, hey, why are you getting so defensive? Why don't you just tell me to go screw off? I, I can do that. That means that you actually resonate with what I'm saying. <sighs> and you're frustrated. Otherwise, you can say, I'm at peace with me, and I don't want to do anything else right now. I'm actually at peace with me, so I appreciate your perspective, but I'm at peace with me. So I don't need your advice right now. <laughs> But instead, you're getting actually really, really frustrated, which means that you're having a reaction. And there's some parallel to what I'm noticing, and you are you are recognizing it too. And I tell you, there's no way in the whole wide universe that I'm, I'm going to take you away from what you're accomplishing, because it's way too beautiful. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just allow that to take place over there. And then um, you and I, we're going to figure something else out and we're going to merge it all together. So it's all coming together seamlessly. You start to cry and you say, gosh, I have so much to work on. I have so much to work on. You say this and you know that this extraordinary version of you that we're looking at um, is still very low on the totem pole for what where you are wanting to be in your life on uh, psychic development or awakening or ascension or however you want to put it. And you see there's a superficial element to even this accomplishment. It's too superficial for you. It's cool and it's uh, almost like, don't be too hard on yourself. We, you are human, I'm human, it's okay. <laughs> kind of, um, and you're, we're having a conversation about the many sheets of paper that I had seen and some of these sheets of paper are too thin and thin is like superficial and easy to break. So, um, development that takes a lifetime is not easy to break but an experience that is just one day old is very thin right so that's more superficial than a lifetime of an experience so you're talking to me about this those fragile papers and there's super, something superficial that um you're working on here but I say, no, 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 no. Um, this is where you're in your head. We're going to just don't evaluate the papers as superficial because because give them depth, you know, give them depth. Because when you give them depth, then they are de deep, you know, otherwise you're OK. I see what the issue is here. All right. So I step in and I'm really impressed by uh, what you've achieved. But I do notice that um, there's something. All I can describe it as there's a vibration here and I, there's a something that says that this isn't in perfect balance, although it's really exceptionally close. <laughs> so why would I deter you from this amazing moment, right? But you want to be deterred and you are like, oh, so there is that. And then you know, now this amazing accomplishment is really too thin. It's superficial. That's not really fair because it's taken you all your whole life to get to this point today. It's not too thin. It's not a thin, another thin piece of paper. Um, it's actually got foundation and growth and development and it's worth being proud of yourself. And so you have like extremely high goals here. 
but see how developed you are at this time. Like, really take the time to appreciate how far you have come. And there's something to the message that is this, okay? It's super shifting your energy field and your energy field does feel better because all of this supersonic energy here in the third eye is actually starting to disperse evenly amongst the other chakras. And anger is now rising up again because you're mad at yourself. You're too hard on yourself. You ask me, why can't I just stay in this state of balance? Why can't I just stay like this? And I say, why would you want to? I mean, do you want to become a statue? Because you need your balance to shift in order for you to continue to learn. So when it shifts and you decide that's bad, then you're saying that your learning is bad, you know? So there's really, the, you mean, obviously we're trying to clear the blocks. We're trying to be in balance all the time. But how are we going to learn and grow if we're like perfectly in balance? There's nothing else. Now we're a statue in a moment of time forever, you know? So you can see how it's okay to just to just appreciate you right now and before and after you can appreciate all the use okay johannes <laughs> that's all i can share this was super wonderful beautiful thank you for exploring the session with me and for sharing just disconnecting from your energy field. <laughs> All right, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in connecting with me one-on-one -on -one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.